you've endured 160 days, approximately 160 days of downwards and sideways price action. Your portfolio is probably down if you've been invested for quite some time. And this is exactly when you need to be paying attention. This is exactly when you need to act in this lull, okay? This is where the money's made. If you're here and you're 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 sort of bought in, you're at the bottom, okay? And at the bottom is where you realize most of the gains. All you need to do is execute on the way up and you're golden. Okay. Hello everyone, my name is Dean, let's talk crypto. This is where you subscribe for daily Bitcoin updates and technical analysis. We track the price of Bitcoin as a proxy for the cryptocurrency markets at large. Today is April 20th, 2022, and Bitcoin is making its way up deliberately, slowly, but surely through, up and through this channel, okay? The title of this video is the last day to buy Bitcoin it may be the last day for some time. Why? As I always say on this channel, reason that you want to buy the bottom of a channel, sell the top, and not trade the middle is because it reduces your risk, okay? It reduces your risk because you're likely to face some staunch resistance at the top of the channel, right? Where you either reject completely and go all the way back down to the bottom of the channel, or you'll consolidate before breaking the channel, okay? And obviously you don't wanna sell the middle because you may reduce your, you increase your risk and you reduce your reward. So my saying the last day to buy Bitcoin is we're almost at the halfway point of the channel and you don't wanna trade the halfway point. So this is, this may be the last day to buy Bitcoin on this particular move. The next buy, should probably be a confirmation buy after we consolidate somewhat and hopefully find support here at a strong level before breaking the channel, okay? So this is why I'm saying this may be the last day to buy Bitcoin on this move, all right? If you're still here, you're watching this video, you're one of the very few. Very few people are watching crypto videos now. Very few people are excited about the market. And this is precisely the perfect time to buy, right? When nobody's paying attention, everybody's annoyed, everybody's bearish. Everybody thinks crypto's a scam. Everybody thinks that, all right, this something's not right, yeah? This is precisely when you want to buy, okay? It's been, it's basically, sentiment is down in the dumps, all right? If you're here, you've endured 160 days approximately 160 days of downwards and sideways price action your portfolio is probably down if you've been invested for quite some time and this is exactly when you need to be paying attention this is exactly when you need to act in this lull okay this is where the money's made if you're here and you're 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 sort of bought in you're at the bottom okay and at the bottom is where you realize most of the gains. All you need to do is execute on the way up and you're golden, okay? So this is a great opportunity as I spoke about in previous videos. So Bitcoin is doing well, it's matriculating up. I think the next major resistance, as I've been saying, is the top of this channel, okay? And depending on when it hits the top of this channel, maybe around 50K, $50,000, okay? So this is what I'm seeing for Bitcoin, right? It's just gonna go up and through this channel ever so slowly. It's not going to rock it up. The only place where you may see a quick move is in this region here between the prices of 44,000 and 48,000. Reason being, there are very few, if any, orders between these price points, right? As indicated by our VPVR, our horizontal, our horizontal volume indicator meaning it shows us where most of the buying and selling is done at every price point. And because there's very little buying and selling between 44 and 48, expect us to zoom past this level quite quickly, okay? And once we hit 48, I think we test the top of the channel. At that point, I think we get a rejection and consolidation before breaking the channel, okay? But 
it's still a waiting game, still very little volume in the market, right? And don't expect much volume until we breach this channel. If we breach this channel, that's when you can expect volume in the market, right? Volume usually comes at the break of a channel and then you get explosive volume. All right, so that's pretty much it with Bitcoin. Now, going into our favorite altcoins, same thing. Ravain is in a structure, right? And this structure is a descending wedge. And we're at the bottom of the descending wedge. Uh, we're not yet at the midpoint, but it, we're at the bottom of it. I am anticipating that we reach a major resistance at the top resistance, the downward sloping resistance of this uh, descending wedge, we consolidate a little bit, and then we break. Once we break this descending wedge, expect the big moves, expect the volume, expect the fireworks, right? And that's where I'm expecting these 80%, 90% moves, all right, um, before our next target is hit. So this is Ravain. Ravain's already got some volume, but expect much more volume once this descending wedge is broken. Kadena. Kadena's been at the bottom. Again, if you're here, pat yourself on the back. Few, many people have left. Many people have disavowed the space, right? It's perfect. Look at it. Look at it on the daily. And this is why I'm on the high time frames because there's no use going into the smaller time frames. Look, there's nothing going on here. Just consolidation, rounding a bottom for a move to the upside. We've got on our stochastic RSI a perfect bottom formation showing very strong bullish divergence right here. Very strong bullish divergence. And we're showing that we're going to get a move up into the upper regions of the stochastic RSI. It's perfect for us moving up to our next major resistance that seems to be at the top of this uh, this uh, ascending wedge or rise. Uh, it's a descending triangle pretty much a descending triangle, but the top resistance, I think, will be hit around $8.50, okay? Much like before, nothing's changed. It's boring, I know. You just have to wait. There's very little much you can do right now. Just wait for the move to happen. You don't know when the move is going to happen. That's part of good investing, patience, respected, and planning. Patience, the number one uh, point that I make made in um, my whole spiel about, you know, a good trade and what makes a good trader, what makes a good investor. If you're not patient, you miss out on these moves. And if you're not patient, you over trade, right? You don't know when the market is going to move. You can analyze it to death, but the timing precisely when you're going to get that big move is difficult to do. So you set yourself up, you buy support and you wait, you wait, you wait until the move is made then you take your profit. So that's basically what we were doing with Kadena. And last but not least, Veracity. Same deal. We're in the doldrums. We're at the bottom of this uh, descending triangle. We're getting ready to move. We've got a very nice rounded bottom showing reversal. Very nicely indicating a bottom on the stochastic RSI on the daily time frame. So it's looking, and there's nice, nice uh, bullish divergence right here on the stochastic RSI. The MACD is crossing bullish. Very little volatility. Expect a big move soon. But when it's gonna, when it's gonna move, we don't know. Just as long as you're positioned to benefit from the big move, you're fine. You don't have to do anything. Perhaps set up a sell order at major resistance. But that's about all you need to do. If you don't want to sell, set a sell, sell order for major resistance, that's also okay. Because you can just wait until, you know, you're out outside of this construction to sell, all right? But if you want to play it self, safe, you probably should sell major resistance. Wait until you get, get support, rinse and repeat, all right? So that's veracity. I'm still looking to take profit once this target is hit, this descending uh, downward sloping resistance is hit. So that's basically it. I hope this was helpful. I hope this was useful. Keep in it. Stay with it, right? Don't let time uh, shake you out because that's that's the biggest challenge right now. Time. Like nothing's happening. Nothing's going on. My, my portfolio's down. It's been boring for 160 days. Don't let that psych you out. Understand what's coming. And what's coming are 
profits upon profits upon profits if you can stay with it. Many people don't. Most people don't. Most people lose in trading crypto. Don't be that person. All right, take care of it.